With that being said, we're going to go right to Senator Radney Brogdon and get the latest on these two separate bills, HCR 1028 and HCR 1003, or I'm sorry, HJR 1003, which apparently has passed the House and Senate and was vetoed by the governor, but they just uh, passed this latest one, 1028. What's the status right now? Well, uh, in fact, the governor, Governor Brad Henry here in Oklahoma, vetoed HJR 1003, which was a Senate joint resolution that had the, the uh, rule of law in the bill itself, and he rejected that. He, uh, out of hand, he vetoed a Tenth Amendment resolution. Now, let me try and put that in perspective. Here is the, uh, the leader of our state, the governor of the state of Oklahoma, sworn to uphold the Constitution of the United States as well as the Oklahoma Constitution, and he vetoed a Tenth Amendment resolution. If there is any one group or any one person that should support the Tenth Amendment, uh, it should be the state legislature and certainly the uh, the highest officer of the land here in the state of Oklahoma, and that's the governor. Yet he chose to side with the insiders in Washington, D.C., allow the continuation of the overhanded, uh, the, uh, overhanded and heavy-handed uh, long arm of the federal government to sweep down again into the state of Oklahoma and allow D.C. politicians uh, to continue to run the state of Oklahoma. So what, what we decided to do was to run a House concurrent resolution, which does not have the rule of law tied to it, but it shows the will expressed by the state legislature. And, you know, it's really a shame that we even have to do something like this. Uh, the Tenth Amendment is the Tenth Amendment. And I guess Governor Henry thinks that since he vetoed our resolution that he really doesn't even have to abide by the by the Tenth Amendment anymore. But he's going to figure out that that's wrong. So uh, we're going to help him realize that. So what are the next steps? Now that this, uh, this new bill has passed, uh, 1028, this concurrent resolution, where does it go from here? Yeah, 1028 passed the House yesterday, and it'll be heard on the Senate floor uh, next Tuesday. I'm the Senate author again on this resolution, and we'll get it passed off of the, uh, the Senate floor. It'll go directly from there to the President of the United States and to every member of Congress expressing our will as a as the Oklahoma State Legislature uh, to, to we're telling the federal government to stick to their business. They have very limited roles to play. Uh, there's only 19 or 20 enumerated powers that are spelled out and clearly defined in Article One, Section 8 of the U.S. Constitution. And we are telling Congress to cease and desist of all activity that falls outside of their enumerated powers, and they need to stick to their business, and the state of Oklahoma will stick to our business, and uh, we need to keep those separate. I'm telling you, uh, the the... the the heavy burden that the federal government is currently placing on the states with the stimulus money, with the TARP, the bailout money, creating generational debt, and state legislators around the country are standing in line uh, uh, with their hand out wanting all this free money and manna from heaven. But let me tell you, Jason, what's happening, we should be, we should be dealing with the difficult problems today, and we're not doing it. And I can tell you, we're going to be forced to deal with some very impossible situations in a very short period of time. Shame on the politicians that are uh, refusing to deal with the problems today and pushing these problems off to our kids and our grandkids. Shame on them. I, I couldn't agree more. Now, how can people uh, in the state of Oklahoma and outside of the state of Oklahoma support you and help you with this? Uh, I would invite people uh, to go to my website. Number First of all, I'm running for governor. I announced uh, several weeks ago, and we are in the process of uh, obviously raising money and, and building a, a, a statewide uh, volunteer network. Go to randybrogdon.com. Join the team. Uh, contribute to the cause of freedom. You know, you, you, your listeners may wonder, well, why would I want to even think about giving money to a politician i don't even know in the state of oklahoma uh you know how does that benefit the state of alabama or mississippi or tennessee or california let me tell you how it benefits i believe with all my heart jason that that one person can make a difference mm -hmm. and i've seen that 
is during my tenure over the last seven years serving in the state legislature, uh, I was instrumental in stopping the Real ID bill here in the state of Oklahoma. I was instrumental. These are all my legislation that we got passed to stop uh, the NAFTA superhighway from, from coming up from into the state of Oklahoma. Uh, I got the uh, 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 transparency bill passed where we created a, a website where uh, every penny that is being spent in the state of Oklahoma is up on a Google search type uh, web base, a website where everyone can go online and see where every dollar is being spent, something that's never happened before. One person can make a difference, and, and I know leadership makes a difference. You know, it, it's, it's one thing to lead, and it's another thing to lead in the right direction. And, and I am calling on, on patriots around the country to support me today in my race for this governor. Because Absolutely, it, and we're going to have you over in the next five minutes and tell people where they can go to support you. It's the Alex Jones Show. I'm Jason Burmis, InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv. The good old folks at New Silver Solution. And the website is SupernaturalSilver.com. SupernaturalSilver.com. Uh, this is something that kills bacteria, viruses, you name it. Well documented. And they've got it down to a super small nano-sized particle. Supernaturalsilver.com. Check them out at Infowars.com. Supernaturalsilver.com. We are back. It's the Alex Jones Show. And let me tell you why it's very important to get State Senator Randy Brogdon elected. Because a governor is one in 50. He then has a position on a national stage to bring about real talk about real issues that matter issues that are important to anybody in the know about the constitution and bill of rights that are pro sovereignty movement especially for oklahoma so if you're outside of oklahoma you can help him get elected by helping fund his campaign and making more and more people aware of what's really going on around them what's the website randy com. and and so so what are the plans in the next you know few months gearing up for this uh... sovereignty movement and running for governor. I mean, you're obviously a very busy man, also a state senator. Well, uh, we're finishing our legislative uh, session here in uh, two weeks, and then I'll be on the campaign trail full-time for the next 50 months until the primaries in July of 2010. And my goal is to get every seven, uh, all 77 counties in the state, uh, meet as many people as I can possibly meet, raise money, uh, just enough money to get my message out. and. Uh, I, I can tell you one thing that I know about my message, it, it sells. It is wildly popular with the people. Uh, Oklahoma is a very populous state, and our government is set up that way. And, uh, you know, this year I've got two other uh, constitutional amendments that I got passed uh, uh, that will be on the uh, ballot box as a uh, referendum. Let the people vote to decide two things. Number one, ballot access. You know, the state of Oklahoma I'm a Republican. I'm a, actually, I'm a constitutional conservative. Uh, I belong to the, to the Republican Party. But Oklahoma was the only state in the country over the last two presidential cycles that only had two candidates on the ballot. And that was a Republican and a Democrat. And the reason for that is we have thrown up all kinds of roadblocks, made it very onerous to get uh, your name on the ballot. And so uh, I got a ballot reform initiative uh, that the people get to vote on. Uh, in the in the next uh, coming election cycle, so I'm excited about that. I also got the uh, Tenth Amendment resolution passed. So we we've got some you know we've got some uh, good changes coming up, uh, uh, and I, I'm excited. I, I actually I meant the initiative petition uh, uh, and ballot access. Oh, something else, Jason. That I think mm -hmm. that people need to know about. Uh, that a lot of legislators around the country are waking up to is I was a Senate author this year on a rescinding the, uh, the constitutional calls. Uh, right now there are currently 32 states around the country over the years that have asked for a constitutional convention. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you what happens. It only takes 34 states, and then we will be forced as a, as a nation to have a brand new constitutional convention like and they can pass anything they want almost carte blanche there and really just mm -hmm. you know that is I'm, that is right nothing will be nothing will be held back the bill of rights will be open for discussion uh there have been supreme court decisions that said you can't have a single 
subject to constitutional convention. Once it's open, everything is up for grabs. And I can tell you there's not a politician in this country that could hold a candle uh, to the founding fathers and their divine inspiration. So uh, I urge the other, other uh, states around the country that are listening to this today to to uh, make sure your legislature re- repeals and, and, and recalls any constitutional calls for a convention that they've uh, had over the last uh, several decades because there's plenty of them. Well, Senator Brogdon, uh, you know, my listeners and I stand with you, and hopefully we can get you elected to uh, the governor. I thank you for your time. Well, you bet. And uh, go to my website, randybrogdon.com. I need your support. It's, this is a grassroots move here in Oklahoma against the, uh, the, the uh, classic political machine, and uh, I need your, need your help and support. All right. Thank you, sir.